Well, hey guys and gals, and welcome back to another episode here of Building with Hex. Today, today we're going to build another one of these things. It is number seven. Last time we built this one here, which I think is incredibly derp. <laughs> like the front of it's okay, but the back and the sides, I don't know what was going on through my head when I built this thing, but... Yeah, I mean, it definitely has some issues. It's not as bad as I thought it was after I did that video. I almost deleted it and re, uh, redid the entire episode, but I thought, you know what? That kind of defeats the purpose of this. If I start doing that, then that kind of like defeats the whole point of doing this. This is an exercise in a creativity, um, creativity method of build, trying to build in 30 minutes a one chunk house, limiting, your, lim limiting yourself to size and time in order to kind of maximize creativity. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be using some deep slate again. I'm going to use the deep slate tiles, I think. And I'm going to be using some white concrete, I believe. I might switch over to... Um, what's it called? The other stuff. And then I think we're going to be using the black stained glass. I'd like to kind of have another try at some of the materials we used here, except I'm not going to be using the calcite. Obviously, I'm going to be using the white uh, concrete. So uh, first of all, I'm going to start things off with a little wall. So one, two, and I think I'm going to go three blocks up, three blocks up. Uh, yeah, three blocks up. And then we're going to go and we're going to build a wall out of these deep slate tiles. I have a good idea today, and I like to start things off with a kernel of an idea. Just a kernel, and then kind of go from there and start building. Now, you can do it that way, or you can just start putting something on. I think that having a little bit of a kernel of an idea is super helpful. So, um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, and we're going to... That is not the concrete that I wanted. I want the actual... Not the powder. The concrete. Thank you. There we go. We're going to bring our concrete out over here. I haven't built with white concrete for a little while. If you guys have noticed the last couple of builds... Haven't been white concrete based. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me, but anyway. Oh, that's too long. I want to go, let's see, about, um, let's see, one, yeah, that's that's good right there. Okay, and we're going to come across this way, like this, to our edge, and then I want to come up here, like that. And then we're going to come back all the way along here. I think I'm going to bring it all the way to the wall like that. And then I'm going to go, let's see, how, how wide is this? One, two, three, f is that six? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's six um, in the middle there. Do we want to go five? I think we want to go five. I like odd numbers. For some reason, I just have a thing about odd numbers in Minecraft. Um, it's just a thing. I just really like odd numbers. It's better to make an odd number than an even number for me. I don't really know why it has. I think it has something to do with the fact that um, odd numbers you have sort of a center block. But also, I, th I think I just like odd numbers in general. <laughs> I, I think it doesn't have anything to do with uh, an actual Minecraft thing. Um, anyway, oh, I forgot to start my timer. OK, it started now. Um, we'll go to 28 minutes. I feel like it's been about two minutes of me talking. One, two, three, four. Five, and then right there, we're gonna build right there. Okay, and then we're gonna just build like another white concrete wall this way. So this one is spaced out five, that one's spaced out five like that, and I'm gonna fill in this entire bottom like this. There we go, la la la. And we're using the Silder's Vibrant shaders again today. Um, I'm liking them quite a bit. I'm actually using the medium. I think I was using light last time. I'm just seeing what I can what I can get away with. With uh, I added some RAM on my computer a while ago. I added uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, so now I have 24 instead of 8, which should help things out quite a bit from the performance standpoint. And it seems like the sh the Silders shaders have a little bit better um, performance as far as a shader. With uh, I'm gonna drop this back by a block from the edge, okay? Um, as far as being a little bit more um, higher performance with more RAM, if that makes sense. So like my other ones, uh, the Chocopic didn't seem to gain a lot of performance with more RAM, but the Silders definitely did. So maybe we'll leave that window right there. And maybe, you know what? 
This is kind of strange, but maybe we'll leave that window there and actually come around the back like this. One, two, three, four, five. Five is right there. Uh, yeah, that's five. Okay. There we go. Anyway, um, I just kind of noticed that. I don't know if you guys use sh shaders or if you noticed that at all. But let me know if you uh, know anything about that because I'd like to know that. Okay, that's kind of interesting, don't you think? That's kind of interesting. Okay, what I really wanted to do, though, was to take the top of this thing up. Let's see, one, two, three, and then four blocks like that, and then bring it over like this across here to the edge here, and then this way. So I kind of wanted to build like a cross over thing, and then what's holding it up is that wall on the edge, that sort of deep slate tiled wall over there, and I hope this is gonna look good. I really do. Because the last one I was not happy with it. <laughs> it's growing on me though. It really honestly is growing on me. Yeah, alright. Okay. Not too bad actually. Not too bad not too bad at all. Um I actually really like this, I think. I would like to put in perhaps here. And there, and there, and there, yep, and there, yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and there, and, oh man, is it gonna do that to me? I guess it is. Well, I guess we could just go with that. And then we're gonna use some of our black stained glass. This black stained glass with this looks almost purple, but I really like how it's got a little shimmery effect on it, a little reflected effect. That looks really good. That looks good. I've always wanted to use the Silder shaders, but my machine just always ran like a, you know, well, it just didn't run very well. I was going to say a pregnant hog, but yeah. Potato, pregnant hog, same thing. Same thing, really, if you think about it. All right, uh, there we go. Oh, I can't even have that out there because that's going to mess up my situation. Okay. I'm just gonna put... I'm feeling much better about this build than the previous one that we did. I'm feeling much more confident. I kind of know what I'm doing. Sometimes these builds, like, they take a lot of work mentally, and sometimes they just build themselves, and it's like, you just can't place the blocks fast enough because you know exactly where they go. Mentally. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I like this. I like this very much. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. And then I think across the front here, what we're going to do is we're going to go white concrete here like that. And we're going to do a similar deal to the ends of the other ones like that. Or maybe we should set this one back by one. That would be cool because we have the space. We kind of don't have space at all <laughs> because we're doing one chunk builds, but this is going to be good. It's going to be good. I think that building in one chunk is a little better for me because it keeps me a little bit smaller as far as my build size. Sometimes my builds can get way too big, but maybe that's why you like my channel. It's because I build big things, I build very large things, <laughs> skyscrapers and so on. Yeah. Yeah, you guys like that, don't you? You like those skyscrapers, don't you? <laughs> Just kidding. You do like a good skyscraper. I will be building some more skyscrapers. I just had to take a break from them because I was getting... It was almost like I was building them because people like clicked on them more than I was building them because I was enjoying them. And that's never a good state to be in as a, create, as a creative. I know that from like a uh, business standpoint as far as like you know, getting more views and more clicks and so on and so forth, likes and comments and whatever, um, that it's always nice to have those things. But from the standpoint of just general creativity, um, it's not good. It's not good to build just solely because people like a certain topic. So, yeah, it was kind of rough for me 
there for a while with the skyscrapers. So it was good to take a break from those. I will go back to them. I've been doing a lot on my survival series. If you haven't been watching that, check that out. Um, it's pretty fun. I feel like it's going pretty well. Uh, a little bit different than season one. A few more players, but um, I'm really having fun with it and I'm really enjoying it. And I have lots of really cool plans and, and I'm trying to go with more natural type stuff than... Uh, than some of this modern build stuff. Oh, that's looking really, really snazzy. Really snazzy. It's not quite what I had in mind, but it's pretty close, actually. Pretty close. Yeah, you gotta love the shaders with the, with the glass, right? That's really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. That is really cool. All right. Um, we need like a door right here because this is gonna be like our carport, essentially. So we're gonna do a door in here. And we only have... Seven minutes plus two, basically, because I burned two minutes. So we have about nine minutes on the clock. So because this is such a simple structure, and I was able to get it, um, I was able to get it going really easily. We have more time to build. So la 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 la. Sorry, I will stop singing now. I'm sorry about that. No one ever comments on my singing level. No one ever says, hey, you're singing too much. You're not singing enough. So, whatever. <laughs> People just kind of generally don't really make a lot of comments on my videos. Like compared to like other videos that I see. Um, like on YouTube and stuff from other Minecrafters and stuff. Um, you guys just don't really make a lot of comments on my channel. So I don't know if like you have nothing to say. Or if my videos just are not comment worthy. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, I usually see more comments on other people's videos. Maybe because I'm still pretty small time, and that's fine. But I do really appreciate your comments. And the best types of comments that I like, if you're going to write like a really nice comment that I'm going to see, is uh, you telling me, um, you know, that you like the build, what you like about it specifically. Like, Oh, I'm gonna build this in my world. Like, that's a fine comment, but it's like, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> good, good job. But like, if you're like, oh, I really like the windows on that one, or I really liked how you did the carport, or I really liked, you know, this thing, or I really didn't like uh, how you use calcite blocks on that. Maybe you should use this instead. Like, those kinds of comments, like, I enjoy a lot more because I can kind of do something more with them. I can, I can, uh, you know, I can do better in the future kind of thing uh, with a comment like that where... Um, a comment that doesn't really include any kind of sort of constructive criticism, which is just like, oh, that sucks, or oh, I really like that. Like, both of those are kind of a little bit, um, not boring, but just like, I, I don't know what to do with that necessarily. Okay, so onwards, what I'm going to do is get some stairs out. Get some stairs out. I hope that I'm coming across like, um, that I'm saying that I, l I, I love your comments and I want more of them and that these are the signs of comments that I like not like some sort of jerk who's like you guys make sucky comments uh, I hope that's coming across sometimes I'm not very good with my words when I'm saying things but yeah you guys don't make sucky comments I'm just saying the types of comments that I like the best are and I really don't get a lot of comments from you guys on my channel that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is cool. I can I can work with this. We can work with this. You know why we can work with this? Because we can work it. We, I was, okay. <laughs> yeah, I caught myself and I stopped. I realized that that was dumb and I stopped doing it. Okay. Um, we're gonna do like this maybe. We can do like two little bedrooms up here. It's really hard to build like full houses, like the bathrooms and everything. Um, when you're doing just a one chunk. So if you want a bathroom in here, by all means, build yourselves a bathroom. But I'm going to build in. That's going to be like a bedroom. And this is going to be like a bedroom. And basically I've divided it pretty evenly. In case you're building along with me, that's what I'm doing. I'm having the peanuts now. <laughs> there we go. All right. That works. Okay, cool. So we have that, we have that, we have this little staircase here. Um, we've got this. Let's do some exterior details since we have 
only used 11 minutes and like the structure of the house is done. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one a lot. It's probably in my top. Well, I shouldn't be judging it yet because I'm not even done with it. <laughs> All right, we're going to try these azalea leaves. I'm just going to like go a little ham with the azalea leaves. They're new and I want to use them. So I'm going to use them. There we go. Just kind of along that wall. That looks pretty good. I think that looks really nice. And then, hmm, should we do the moss? Let's do the moss. Let's do the moss. There we go. All right, we'll just kind of... I don't know, does moss look better or worse than regular grass? It looks all right. And maybe we'll do some more azalea leaves right here. Like, up like that. I kind of want to do some straight ones. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Let's do a couple more in here. Let's maybe do, like, one, like, right here that goes up this way. That's really good. That's really good. And you know what? I kind of feel like, because this is open right here, because I for totally forgot to put glass in it, that let's go ahead and grab our glass like this, and we're just gonna do a very minimal balcony back here. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put it to there because if I go there, it's just gonna link up with this window and look hyper derpo. Hyper derpo, is that a thing? It's, it's a thing now because I just invented it. Hyper derpo. <laughs> hyper derp. It's a hyper derp. All right, there we go. And then we have our little staircase and we've got this right here. We can go in here and then yeah, all right. That's good. That's good. I'm liking this so far. This is a good little house. Very nice little house. Okay. Um, what else can we do, like, along this edge? Let's do... Can we do, like, some moss carpeting just to kind of vary, variate the land a bit like this? Maybe we need, like, some more azaleas or something? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Maybe... Of fun and you know what we should do we should totally do some glowberries we should do some glowberries right in here that's gonna be fun okay and then we're gonna do some bone meal this because in order to make the glowberries glow you just bone meal them and it works just fine okay we're gonna put a moss right there that way this glowberry won't grow down any further and it looks like that. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of uh, glowberries, I do use them quite a lot in my build on the um, on the Blockhead server, on the new server. Maybe we'll punch out a little window right there. Okay. Interior decorating. Here we go. Decorating? <laughs> decorating! <gasps> Ooh, decorating! <laughs> I'll stop. All right. There we go. And let's do... What other, what other blocks do we have? We have the deep slate. Um, yeah, I'm going with deep slate bricks again for the sort of deal in here. There we go. We kind of have a kitchen counter and we're going to go across like that to make that part. You know what I think we ought to do? We ought to go like that and then maybe like that. Don't love that though, because then the glowberry is kind of in the wrong spot. You know what? Let's move our glowberry. We're gonna move our glowberry right here. Just like that. There we go. And we're gonna plant a little azalea bush. Because why not plant an azalea bush? We have azalea bushes. Let's use them. <laughs> there they are. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, we need some glass then to put in there. And I can't get, let myself get too carried away because otherwise, you know what? I think I'm gonna move this entire door. I don't like where that door is. Get rid of that. There we are. Maybe... Can we do it like that? Oh yeah, I was gonna get rid of the door, that's right. Maybe we'll go like this. Okay. No, I don't like that. Then I'll have to move that azalea bush. We'll just go like that. That's good, and then we have this little window there. Okay, 
That's cool. So now what I can do is I can take this cauldron, put it there, and then right here what we're going to do is put a uh, iron. We need some blocks of iron for our refrigerator. I'm not doing a netherite fridge on you. I promise. Okay, and then we need some blackstone. Whoops, oak. <laughs> black. We need some blackstone buttons. Don't you think we need blackstone buttons? Yes, we do. We need blackstone buttons. And then we need... um. We need our blast furnace to make a blast right here. We're going to blast this furnace right here. And we're going to just throw in a double blast furnace, just like that. And now we have a nice little kitchenette here. And I think we'll just take this all the way. Now that looks super derp. Oh, no. I'm going to do tiles right there and there. And there. That's good. No, I don't like that because then it's going to look weird on the outside. Okay, we're going to do a stair there and a stair there and just bring that to there. I think that'll work. And then we're going to go with, uh, we need a pot with a flower in it. There it is. Let's use our azalea. Let's use the non-flowering azalea and be super, super hip. Be like, I'm not using the flowering azalea. I'm going to use the regular one because I'm hip. Okay. I wonder why that creates so much light. Blingy edit. Blingy, blingy, blingy edit. I wish. Maybe I'll just hang some glow berries. <laughs> no. Uh, there we are. Okay. We need something for cupboard doors. Let's see. We definitely, definitely, definitely in Minecraft definitely need more things that go on the walls, like paintings, trap doors, Stuff like that. Yeah, it is, it's like a need. It's something that we must have in Minecraft. I know you guys totally agree with me and everything because you agree with everything I say. Because you never make comments, so you must agree with... No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see, can we do some sort of like a, a tile floor? I know there's some more other new blocks in here. What if we did something like... These amethyst thingies? Can we do that as a floor? Is that going to be super gaudy? Oh, that's so gaudy and ugly. That's really bad. You guys, why did I even consider doing that? Okay, but I do kind of think I want to use them somewhere else, though. Block of amethyst. Here we go. What if we... Well... If we did it as, like, a lamp. And then we did, uh, end rods on the edges of it, like this. <laughs> we need to use copper though. I'm gonna use some waxed oxidized, well, you don't need the waxed oxidized. I'm gonna use some oxidized copper stairs for like a little couch that's gonna go in here. That. And then we're going to use some oxidized copper for like a little deal like that. And now there's like a, a nice little area. My wife always says that we need to have the furniture welcome us into it. So we got to go this way, I think. Because the other way, the furniture is not really, you know, welcoming us into it. There we go. Now I feel more welcomed. I feel like, yes, please come and sit on me. Okay, let's do the oxidized copper blocks, like here and here. There we go. And then we could do... I'm not, I'm not super down with this lamp, though. I'm not super down with it, but I'll tell you what we will do. We will use end rods as a door, because that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the amethyst cluster does not go on the end rod. Is that correct? Yeah, it won't go on there. Which I think is really lame. I think that's incredibly lame that they did it that way. Uh, what else? Can we put glow item frames on top of these things? Nope. Okay. What I was originally going to do was to take the amethyst cluster thing and put it on top of here like a little lamp. There we go. I don't know why I used the budding one. Kind of has a weird 
texture to it that looks evil almost. Man, I'm taking too much time doing this. Do you guys know that? There we go. All right, that's all right. That's okay. Um, yeah, so I think that's this room pretty much done. Speaking of paintings, I haven't used paintings in a long time. I think we're due for a good painting. Not that one. We need... Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. I kind of like that one. That I just saw. That's the one I want. That one. There we go. That's beautiful. What if we did one on this side? I think if I go right here, it'll just... Spiders? No. Uh... Do the same painting on both sides. Because... That doesn't look stupid. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I forgot to do my, my coffee pot. Uh, let's see. We need a brewing stand. Open GL error? What? Hold on. E, and then brew. Okay, there we go. We have to be able to make coffee, you guys. There we go. Alright. Maybe we need uh, a couple of trapdoors here, here, and here. Why are those going... Oh, you know what I did? There we go. I have like a fast right click thing that I ha that I have. I'm playing actually with like some mods that I use on uh, the Blockheads server. Um, they're just kind of like helpful little tweaky kind of mods that like kind of make some little changes to the game. Uh, nothing super crazy. Oh, uh, let's just... <laughs> These bedrooms are really small, so we need a couple of beds. And I think we're going to go with... Um... Magenta? Orange? Feeling orange for some reason. There we go. We'll do a little orange bed right here. And we have seven minutes left in this episode, in case you're keeping track. And we'll do like a double orange bed in there. And that's good. And then maybe... Maybe here we'll do uh, some barrels with some trapdoors. What do you think? I like barrels and trapdoors. For like a little sort of dresser sort of deal. Uh, let's do it double. Why not? We have the room, sort of. And then speaking of room, I think I'm going to break that door and put that there. And then we'll get a birch door to go in its place. There we are. Just like that. And I think we're going to do um, a block of amethyst and that for a nightstand. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Um, dripstone. Would dripstone make an interesting nightstand? I mean, kind of, yeah. That's all right. Uh, let's see. I want this polished blackstone pressure plate right here. There we go. Okay. And then, oh, I want to grab these to do the side here. There we are. That's good. Okay. And then we need a pot. Like this. We're doing a lot of interior decorating here. Decorating. And then, what do I want to put in there? Hmm. I feel like we have some other new things that we could put in. Can you... Ooh, what's a small drip leaf? I've never used a small drip leaf. Here's a big drip, drip leaf. I guess you can't put that in there. Alright, um... You know what, we'll just go with another azalea. There we go. Now we need to grab the dripstone, this, and this, and we need to grab barrels, and we need to grab this guy. And why didn't I grab the pressure plate exactly? Oh, because I already have it. All right, sweet. There we are. Okay, cool. We're going to go into this room, and we're just going to uh, really go really fast. We're going to put our dripstone blocks 
I don't want that there because it's going to mess that up. You know what? In fact, I don't want any dripstone blocks. And we're going to go ahead and do a dresser here. And I'm going to put the door there. And we're going to do our trap doors here. That. Let's see. Nope, that's not going the right way. That one is though. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting crazy with the trap doors. <laughs> we are. There we go. Oh, yeah. I only have like two minutes left, huh? Because of the the time thing. All right. Um, tell you what, we'll just throw the end rod up there for light. And we'll throw another one up there for light. Like that. And that'll do. And then maybe let's get a painting. Usually I don't use paintings that much. I try not to use them, but I think this is a good time to use a painting. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Maybe we do want that one. I like that painting a lot. This is like my favorite painting. <laughs> okay, here we are. And then we need to put the door in this way. And then we need to put the blocks back there and there. There and there. There we are. All right, so we have kind of our master bedroom. And then out here, I'd love to do like a little seating area. Can we pull that off? Could I pull, put like a little deep slate? No. Uh, like that. No, I think I'm just going to leave it just as is. But we will do this. There we go. That is pretty good. I want to see what these little drip leaves do before we're completely done. And I have just a couple minutes. Ooh. Wow. Those are amazingly cool. Okay, we just hit 28 minutes. I have to stop. I, I can't put it on grass, though. That's weird. You can only put it on moss. Huh. That is cool. I'm really happy with this one, you guys. Look at this thing. Let's let's take a tour. I didn't even tour that one. <laughs> let's take a tour. Yeah. This one's good. This one is exceptional. This is in my top my top three for sure. Definitely like it. I, I love how you can like go underneath it here. That's a lot of fun. Oh, can I put this door in? I forgot the door, you guys. You're not gonna, you're not gonna yell at me in the comments, are you? For putting a door in after time. <laughs> That's very cool. Look at these little drip leaf things. I really like these. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Building with Hex. This has been a lot of fun to do this one. I was really happy with this one after that one. We needed a good one, didn't we? <laughs> we sure did. Anyway, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantabulous, fantastico, stupendous, remarkable day. <laughs> God bless.